Friendly reminder that you are a powdered sugar jelly roll parfait served chilled with a tiny spoon. That's exactly what you are, friends. I also, unfortunately, I've got some disappointing news for you. You see Caroline over here? Unfortunately, she's got another boyfriend. So I know, guys, she's off the market. You're going to have to back off a bit. So Lady Tiffany Fungles on the left here has been reporting that sweet, sweet Caroline is actually taken again. Also interesting, it was an ex-FTX employee. I guess she just likes dating dudes from the office. This is what happens. And, yeah, i got to remind you, when I reported this, I was just like, man, I really, I want to give you guys and girls and squirrels and ducks, I wish there was better crypto news out there. We recently saw the corrupt SEC say they're not going to approve Bitcoin, but then the price action literally does a 180 U-turn. I guess something's just going on, friends. It's just this, this up October, unfortunately, we have to put a pause on it. But there has been drama going on out there. In the Pulse Chain community, by the way, Pulse Chain's real DeFi. So is Hex and PulseX. So in a nutshell, it's very funny actually to watch it. Look, a lot of people wondering, why is this a positive when it seems like a ne negative, okay? You want to check the heartbeat of the patient. Our bags, all right? So when, so when someone looks at a chart, they see, okay, just went down. Okay, but why is it going down? Is it fundamentally screwed or are people just soy boy little cucks? That's what you want to find out. It's very hard to see this. I know you like it hard. That's what she said. It's very difficult to view this by just gathering information on the fly. It's almost impossible. All you can really do is look at Bitcoin and Ethereum and go, oh, yeah, you guys kind of feel like blue chips. So any other information we can gather, it's super important. So this is Coin CoinGecko, for example, friends, you know, like when you look at the Soylana chart, you know Soylana is different to Cardanzo and it's different to Doge and it's different to Tron. There are different leaders, there are different founders. You know Polygon is also fake DeFi as well. Polygon's fake DeFi with fake admin keys, okay? So, and Polkadot, of course, yes, let's hold the hands. Let's hold the hands and let's save the world. Oh, wait, we can't. You see, there's different stories here. Litecoin. You know, Litecoin, I better not say that too loud. My neighbor's going to come outside and get excited for the first time in like six and a half years because that's the last time Litecoin actually pumped. So that's why it's. I like seeing this, okay? I know a lot of people are like, well, can't we just get along? You, you, can't, you can't. Okay, friends, the universe just throws this to us, all right? You're going to tell everybody, hey, start getting, start getting along, everyone. How likely do you think everyone's just going to sit down and listen to you? They're not. You just got to accept, have to accept the what it is. It's a signal. All right. So what happened? In a summary, the leverage trading casino guys from Pulse Chain had a fight with the meme coiners. Okay. The team on the left and the team on the right. Then they get Corey, Corey Meatballs, friend of the channel. We love Corey. They got him to take the side of the casinos. And then he made a nice lengthy apology letter. He says, well, you know, I support this, etc." And a lot of people pressured me to do it. I go, I'm, I'm staying away, way away from this. Leave me alone. Literally, as soon as that happened, I said to some friends, I said, I've got a feeling more information is going to come out. He's going to have to change his story. I'm not kidding. Like literally 16 hours later, maybe 15 and a half hours. Okay. 15 and a half hours later, more information comes out. Corey has to regret it. He goes, okay, I'm stepping back. <laughs> <laughs> they just throw him out like a rag doll. Then she goes, oh, you don't support us anymore, do you? This picture is exactly what's going on, okay? It's Jerry Springer. Then the leveraged casino dudes from Pulse Chain just start blocking everyone. And that's it. That's literally it. That's exactly what happened. I think it's a fun story to see when actually someone, whoever made this, is a freaking genius, okay? They literally made a video for us, friends. Oh, so good, man. So good. See these memes? Well, you can't get these in these other communities, friends. That's why I want to look at these. I yawn. I really, I actually yawn. I'm like, oh, boring. Solana, the only thing Solana's got going for it is that Ethereum maxis, they fluked Ethereum, and now they think Soylana 
has a chance to be contrarian. Now, I was in that camp too until I realized, wait a minute, no, it's not. It's actually just trash. <laughs> you can have a look at the volume right now. Solana did $11.7 million. And Pulse Chain, which is real, real DeFi, did $11.1 million. But the difference between their prices is like a 12x. Okay, it's literally, oh my God, it's crazy, isn't it? It's like if you had two cars, two cars, they ran the same quarter mile speed, exactly to the T. And <laughs> just one of them is 12 million. And the other one's 1 million. You think there's something going on there to investigate. This is the pulse chart, the price chart. Okay, remember, real DeFi is better than fake DeFi. Always got to put this up here. PLS, we're still waiting to see what we can do, grind through the zone. I like using the weekly candles, friends. I know a lot of people want to go down to one hour and they go, oh, there's a little double bottom here. Oh, there's a double bottom going out. It's a double bottom. We've got a double bottom here and a rounded bottom. I don't really like it, friends. I've always been let down. When you're trying to predict these little stuff, it's always getting let down. One thing that doesn't let you down, though, is that super trend. And it is quite a while away. We need to get back to that day one sacrifice price just for Pulse. Okay, so for Pulse X, it's even more damage. When you see what we can do. This is Pulse's three-day chart. I know, because weekly, it just takes so long. I know. It is what it is. This is just this is the game. That's why you really got to be careful, friends. When we eventually get to premium prices, I know nobody can even imagine them. But when we do get there, if you start to get out a bit, okay, 5%, 10%, People will then make a note of that. If you tell people, hey, I'm getting out a bit. Like, let's say you get out here, for example, and let's say it started going up a bit. They'll say, well, see, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're just going to keep peeling off your position. You're going to have nothing left by the time the bull market actually starts. But <laughs> little do you know, it could be near the top. So people always try to psyops each other, not on purpose. It's just that everybody's cheering on the green candles. They're like, man, how could you be thinking of the party ending? We've been waiting so many years just to get here. And that's precisely how everybody gets trapped at these tops, all right? We're bullish at the tops, we're bearish at the bottoms. Having a quick look as well, this is the pulse X pulse ratio. It's still in that zone. I think it's a healthy ratio. It's okay. I mean, if if we can see ourselves going from here to the top in like some sort of bull market, I mean, it's not even that much. It's plus 60%. Think about your risk. Like when we're trying to play a ratio, friends, think about, for example, link versus Ethereum. I'm trying to make like 800%. Okay, so, but this is, this is not a bad thing. This is good. We like them being psychologically linked. That's what I, I like seeing this, right? Obviously, really, you would love somebody to just sell this to zero so you can buy and get it back up. But realistically, these things financially linked, you know, by the bonding, psychologically linked as part of the same ecosystem. It's good to see. And we're also observing P hex and E hex. We've still got a long way to go before we crush the top of the zones. I mean, the top of the P hex price is around four cents as well. So we're just hoping we get back to like this two cent mark for PHEX. I think that'll be a great zone because that'll mean we erase the corrupt SEC mark. I also came across this interesting conversation between Soy Bankman Fried and Caroline during November. Okay, this was just the hot lovers in paradise. Okay, so Caroline saying, by the way, if things get a lot worse, I don't think I'm going to handle it well. This is right before the collapse, early November. And then him replying, this was such a bad prediction. This is the best mood I've been in in a year, to be honest. So this is Soy Bankman Freed saying, I'm actually in a good mood. And she's like, wow, congrats. He goes, I think I just had an increasing dread of this day that was weighing on me for a long time. And now that it's actually happening, it's just great to get it over and done with one way or another. So this is something to think about when it comes to these psychopaths, friends. They They know. They know. Makes you wonder, what about these other exchanges out there? That's why I'm pleased I'm begging you. I've shown you this to let you know. This is a leaked combo. We don't know what's going on with the other centralized exchanges. They could be having this conversation right now. The best place to keep your crypto is to have the keys yourself. Self-custody. Please get a hardware wallet. Every time I go into the comment section, my heart weeps because there are people who be like, what? You guys, you guys don't keep your money on exchanges? Please, no. There's a warning sign. Off, off. There'll be a cross here. A cross, non-friendship. Get your money off the exchanges. Do not trust any of them. Also, KDP, friend of the channel, saying, would I blow $8 billion for Caroline? Well, rule number one, friends. You don't testify against your man. How can you trust somebody who goes out there and just spill the beans? See, we just got a lot of trust issues now. That's why we do our best to stay grounded. That's why, I mean, like, sometimes you just get surprised. I mean, 
Look, we're trying to stay grounded, friends, and then Arthur throws out a $750,000 Bitcoin prediction. I'm like, just, I hope he's right. Oh, my God. I wake up every day thinking, what if he's right? What if he's right? But I don't know, man. It's just, just to let you know, okay, $500,000 is $10 trillion market cap, okay? $10 trillion, okay? That, that's a lot, friends. You, you, you don't accidentally get there, okay? And you don't just get there in like a 90-day period. Like, you need a lot of exponential money coming in, all right? Now, I know we're just used to seeing this Bitcoin price. Oh, yeah, it goes up. You know, I did a 600x in this cycle. Why can't I just do another 100x? Right, I did a 600x and then 100 and then a 20. Why can't I just do another one? When you get to this 100k mark, which we even hope we get to, you're now 2 trillion. To then get to 3 trillion, you need, you go, okay, look at all these big institutions now. They need to allocate even more, or you got to find other people who are unallocated. The pool of people who are unallocated there is very small. But when you're just a little peanut crypto, like our favorite bags, Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and Hex, we don't need to think about, oh my gosh, do we want to get like, you know, Bank of Ants, Goldman Slugs, JP Mosquito? It's not a limited pool. We're thinking like, okay, what if we got access to China? What if we got access to the west of Australia? What if we got access to the east coast of America? You understand? We're dealing with people. It's people's currency here. It's still ground, grassroots. And it all comes down to Metcalf's law. It's easier to grow when you have 200,000 people in the network compared to when you have 200 million. Now, Pulse Chain, Hex, and PulseX have 200,000. Chainlink has about 670,000. Okay, way less than a million. But Bitcoin has 220 million. It needs exponentially more people to come in. Now, of course, how do the Bitcoin maxis solve for this? They go, well, they're going to print exponentially more money. Well, I think they're going to try other stuff before they go, well, we've got to go buy the bags. Let's go to buy those bags. Just something to think about to stay grounded, okay? So, look, Arthur's post, we're trying to stay grounded. It's a big print, 750K to a million dollars. I hope it happens. But just think everyone's expecting 100K, you know? So, you know? Tell you, we're either going to wildly undershoot or wildly overshoot. What's it going to be? Okay, well, we will know at Bitcoin 80,000. How will we know? Okay, well, if people are doing handstands, backflips, they got glitter all over their face, they're drinking orange juice, three ice cubes, probably even five in some cases, they're euphoric, then you know, okay, it's over. <laughs> okay, you don't get euphoric at 80K and then bearish at 400k, and then euphoric at a million. It doesn't work like that, okay? If you're euphoric at 70 to 80k Bitcoin, you know what's coming, friends. I know it's, it's going to be a harsh reality. What if our altcoins aren't as high? But hey, I don't make the rules. At least we are in a better position than any of everybody else. So fingers crossed that we see it coming when it does. Make sure you like, subscribe, you press all the belly buttons around you. I'm going to catch you in the next one.